All right, fun stitches. I just added these to my repertoire and they are so much fun. I've been having so much fun with them. So these are, this is what I call a long stitch. This is a wide stitch and then um, tassels. We're gonna learn those three stitches. So we'll start with the long stitch. The long stitch can be done one of two ways. The long stitch is um, gonna be a top stitch. You're gonna work from the top and your stitch on the top will be the pretty side. So we will draw on the front of our design. Something simple. And you can uh, do the long stitch two different ways. So the first way I'm gonna show you is with the punch needle. And I do like to use the number eight regular um, punch needle for this one, or the eight fine if you're working with a thin yarn. And the reason for that is that the eight is a longer stitch, so it allows the punch, or the yarn to go further in, so it's easier to stay in the fabric as you work, because you're gonna be pulling the yarn, it's not like a regular punch needle um, loop. And so you're pulling the yarn across your piece, which kind of affects the, which will then pull your yarn in the, the tool. So the more loop you have on the back side to hold that yarn in place, the easier it is. And that's why I like to do that. So you'll punch first, pull your yarn tail to the other side, and then um, basically, and I do usually hold it with the, my back hand as I work. And the reason for that is that you're pulling it a long distance. So I hold it as, and then you're, you just pull it. That's it. This one, because there's a little bit of an angle here, I'm gonna actually go um, a little bit shorter for this first stitch to get that angle in there. And then um, you can even pull it if it doesn't look tight enough. And then you do twist your needle as you do it. Just like you would punch needle, you want your needle to go the, the, your stitch. So you do turn it, pull it out, hold it with your back finger again, pull it, and then just insert it. And that's it. It's, it's that easy. You just kind of have to, and then you just fill it in and it will fill in the area really close because it's a really long stitch and it's really really quite pretty because i'm kind of following this i make i'm making it a little bit longer each time i work but in it pull i turn it i hold it and then i punch and it's as simple as that that's all it is and then sometimes um if it's a little bit looser than you want it to be, the loops are pretty long on this side that you can just pull them and make them as tight as you want them. And when you use a punch needle to do this long stitch, you do get a little bit looser of a, a strand. And watch your back, I just poked myself, ouch back hand as you're holding it. Watch it so you don't poke it. And you just work back and forth until it's all filled in. And then for the um, end of your circle, if you have an end like that, you um, basic, you will just make it uh, shorter and then a little bit shorter, just like that. And then you will pull it and cut it. And you have your long stitch. The other way to do the long stitch is to use a upholstery or darning needle. It's the thick needle with a thicker eye of the needle. And uh, you might need to use a threader to get it in the eye of your needle. My tip is to push it with your fingers enough to 
make it as flat as you possibly can and just shove it in there. That's what I do. And then you're gonna wanna knot the end of it. And then you will just stitch it like you would anything. So you insert your needle from the back side, just like as, as if you were sewing. And um, when you work from the back side, sometimes I, just now I got my needle inside the yarn and yarn can't go through other yarn very easily. So you will kind of have to move your stitches sometimes, but you just insert your needle into the fabric. You see, and then I got it through that one on that side. So just make sure it's not getting your other pieces. In fact, I used a needle to do this white piece on this and I did it first and it worked a lot better. So if you're gonna use a needle, you might wanna do that part first. And then you just pull it through your fabric as if you were sewing and then you just go to the other side of your piece and sew it down. And outside of the ease, the punch needle is just a lot easier to, it goes faster. The punch needle is just a lot faster. But I do like the needle and that it gave me, I, I did it for this particular with the cotton sheet that I tore because I knew that it would, I knew I would want to pull it a little bit tighter. So you have more control over the needle than you do the punch needle. And then instead of going back to this other side and using a lot of yarn, you just go to the right of that piece right there. You'll just insert your needle right next to it in the next hole over to go back up, pull it out, and then go and insert it on the other side where you just were. Just like that. And then insert it where you just were. Watch other loops. Oops. And then go to the other side. Just like that, until you have it all filled in. And then um, when you're done with that, you'll tie it in a knot just like you would um, if you were sewing something. So we'll cut that and we can finish that later. And a tassel, if you were to do a tassel, the tassel you will want to be on your front side, so you're gonna work from the back side on this one. And to do a tassel, you say you want it a tassel line right there. So you would just um, draw a line on your back side so you kind of know where you're going in line with. Get a lot of yarn. And then insert your needle on the back side of your piece and then pull it through. And then depending on if you want a really long tassel like this, then you wanna, you're gonna wanna pull out a lot of yarn. So pull out as much tassel as you think you might want. For this one, I'd probably do something uh, pretty small so it's within the piece. And then you will just hold it there and go in the next hole over. You can go every hole with these tassels because you're not going to have a lot um, of things around it to hold it in. So every hole in the monk's cloth will um, squeeze it that much tighter. And then you just pull your yarn to match kind of that first one. And then you'll go the next hole over, do the same. A little awkward here on screen, here we go. Here we go. Go a hole over, pull it out until it matches. Pull over. Pull it out till it matches. Until you have the whole row that you want. That's all it is. 
And then you'll go through, after you're done doing this, you'll cut it, and then after you're done, you just cut the tassels to match. I have one shorter one here, so I'll have to match that. And you can kind of squeeze them together like this. And then you just cut it. And that's it. And then to secure the tassels, I like to go back and do a top stitch over the top of the tassels. I'll insert it, pull my string out, and then just do a top stitch on top and essentially hold it in. To the piece. Like that. And it um, gives it a prettier finish um, to and lastly, the wide stitch. The wide stitch, so let's fill in our area. Let's see, what should we do here? A wide stitch is essentially kind of like your long stitch except for it's not quite as long. We pull our yarn through the other side and then we'll just go three or four rows or however or five or six however wide you want your stitch to be and then you just just like the long stitch you turn your needle to go back the other way. You turn your needle go back oopsies got a little bit too loose there so you turn your needle and go back and then I'm going to pull that stitch, that one stitch that was a little too loose for my liking. And then you turn your needle and go back. Just like that. And then if you want to, so then from here um, you could fill in this side with another long stitch. So you can go here and go back this way and kind of go in between the stitches. And so they kind of lay together really uh, prettily. Just like that and for this one you can really play around with I played around on this piece right here with this wide stitch this is all wide stitch so here I did just kind of what I did um, here I did just what I did with that one but then there, look there's a little bit of a gap so I went back and did another top stitch on it and but I just did that here and then I turned it on here so it's going a different way and then even up here, I put it into my other stitches on top. And I really felt like you could do a lot of almost shading. You could intermix them really, really beautifully. So I, I had a lot of fun with this stitch. I think you could really do a lot with it. And yeah, and I just kind of intermixed it here. It's just, oh, I really like that stitch. So that one's a fun stitch. One more extra bonus stitch. It's a, a kind of like a chain chain stitch not quite sure what it's called to be honest this one you're going to have to actually cut your yarn it's not going to be continuous so get a pretty good size yarn piece and you're going to want to loop thread both ends of one both ends of the yarn into the punch needle so put them together kind of twist them and sh shove them in the eye of your needle and pull it through just like that. 
and then you'll put both strands down inside your needle to thread it like that and then this one you're gonna work from the front and you're gonna go backwards for this stitch it's kind of a, a funny stitch but you go inside your fabric pull your yarn tails out and then hold the yarn tails as you pull your needle out and then your needle tip is going to separate the yarn pieces and you're going to insert the needle in to make the stitch so it makes a little and then you do it again to make the chain so separate the yarn and insert and it does help to hold the yarn at the back because you're kind of pulling it as you work and it's also double yarn so it's a little bit thicker in there so you pull it out you separate the two strands with your needle tip and then push it in so it makes a little bit of a chain Just like that. A little change.